Jacksonville. So I'm going to ask you, and we got into this. I said, and also Philadelphia is going to a buy. I would not be shocked if they didn't get Belichick on the phone. I'm serious. They, they moved off Chip Kelly winning record, Doug Peterson Super Bowl. This well, organization, Super. though not impulsive, is hyper proactive. They will bail on guys. They've got a lot of money and ownership. So I'm sitting there looking and I'm thinking, let me ask you. If you were Belichick, and the understanding is the media stuff is fine, you know, he can pay the mortgages in Nantucket, but he's going to get back into coaching. Would you take Jalen Hurts in a passionate market, great owner, or Trevor Lawrence in kind of a circus, rich owner, money, but it just, it's never right. And 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 because I, I think a lot of people view Trevor Lawrence will be better with a with the right coach and Jalen Hurts is done. And what if they're the same? They can only win oh. with an elite coordinator. What job if you're Belichick would you take? Okay, so you're I mean, you're really trying to lead the jury here <laughs> or lead the witness here with your setup. Uh so let me make this clear. I'm a Trevor Lawrence guy. Uh that is now becoming more and more based off of things he did at Clemson rather than in the NFL. Same. This year it's unforgivable. Yep. Like this the the, the Jacksonville Jaguars have in they got their doors blown off them by the Bills. Every other game with just adequate situational football and above average quarterbacking they would have won and they're 0 and 4. Yep. So I can't defend how Trevor has played this year. Uh, you know, I would still rather have him moving forward than Jalen Hurts. Okay. But I understand yeah. folks saying, hey, you, what are you basing that off of? And I, my answer is kind of like my gut. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> I just think I just think, think it, I can't prove it to you. With that said, Philadelphia is unquestionably for Bill Belichick the better job. Okay. Like it is a great ownership, a great franchise massive talent on the offensive side of the ball, which is where he has struggled finding talent in the wide receivers, the running backs in particular, and enough piece defensive linemen to work with. Like if I, I, I know this has never happened and this wouldn't happen, but the best thing the Philadelphia Eagles could do today is call Bill Belichick today and be like, can you be here tomorrow? Yeah. We've got 10 days till our next game. Seriously. You want to take over midseason. Yeah. I know it doesn't happen, but the in the NBA, you just had one Doc Rivers. They and now it didn't work out great, but they fired their coach, brought someone in from the outside midseason. If that that would if you are a Cowboys or a Washington fan and you found out tonight the Eagles have hired Bill Belichick and he takes over tomorrow. That bums you out. <laughs> like, and in pro sports, you should more often do the thing that your opponent yes. doesn't want you to do. Yeah. So I listen. I the Breer. I had heard a similar thing. Stephen Ruiz had mentioned it. I think a couple weeks ago about there being a lot of Belichick Jacksonville rumors. I think that would be a fine spot for him. But yeah, if for Philadelphia, given the talent in place, you have to think that would be a great landing spot. And I know we're all talking for the 2025 season. I don't hate the idea of him taking over yeah. somewhere early in a season, see if he can get it turned around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about this because there's a lot of weight behind Bill Belichick potentially coming to Philly. Um, the other thing that I want to say is I like how Nick uh, wants to kind of, you know, make digs at Jalen Hurts and, and say, you know, you'd rather have Trevor Lawrence, which is actually just really funny, especially because when you look at Jalen Hurts' numbers right now, um, they're almost identical to Patrick Mahomes this season, right? Nearly the same rating, um, touchdown, you know, total touchdowns, interceptions, um, completion percentage, um, all of that. So um, if we're just looking at isolated quarterback play and want to use stats, which we know Nick uh, absolutely loves his stats, they're, they're pretty identical. Pretty funny how that works. But I will say this. Um, the whole idea with Bill Belichick is really fascinating. And I really, really, truly keep going back and forth. A lot of people think, a lot of people have soured on Bill Belichick. And I understand why, right? Because they're all like, oh, he didn't do anything since the Patriots. And the reality is, is things obviously got weird in New England, no doubt about it. But if you're doubting the eliteness of Bill Belichick, then I think you're really confused how Bill Belichick's and Tom Brady's 
relationship was. Of course, you're going to be better when you have Tom Brady. Andy Reid is arguably the greatest coach ever, better than Bill Belichick, at the very least, the greatest offensive head coach, and he's obviously better with Patrick Mahomes. If Patrick Mahomes leaves, Andy Reid is going to go down a little bit because you're at the mercy of it. Same thing where, if Andy, where Patrick Mahomes goes and now has Mike McCarthy as his coach, um, he's going to take a bat. You know, he's going to take a step back. And don't believe me? Well, look how we took away some weapons from Patrick Mahomes. And now his numbers have gone down. So everybody is connected in football, right? And just sports as a whole, but definitely football. Um, you know, it's it, it's a very mutual relationship. It's why they always say it's the ultimate team sport, but that is, includes coaching as well. No one thinks Mac Jones is this great quarterback. And yeah, Bill Belichick, the GM, not so good. Bill Belichick, the head coach, pretty good. Um, so, you know, there's people that were saying like, oh no, you, you know, the Eagles shouldn't get Bill Belichick. And then someone was saying, you know, they should upgrade Kellen Moore or Fangio, or try to get Brian Flores, and all of this, and it, it, it's, 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 the Eagles are in a fascinating situation now, because it feels like if you're going to get a defensive head coach, then it may as well be the GOAT Bill Belichick, but anything under than that, because then people were saying Vabral, um, and it was just kind of like, again, if you're going to get the, the GOAT, if you're going to get the defensive coach, then get the GOAT, right, go out and get Bill Belichick, but also, the other argument is, is like, no, go out and get that offensive uh, head coach, right? Go out and get Ben Johnson, who's, you know, doing amazing things. Like, he will get that offense going great. And then you're no longer at the mercy of an offensive coordinator like a Shane Steichen, who then leaves. To me, that's always going to be the biggest question with Bill Belichick is, who is the OC? Who is the offensive coordinator, Right. Um, so that, that's, that to me will be always the biggest question mark with a, a coach like Bill Belichick, but at the same time, he will instantly make that defense better, any, any defense better, of course. So really the best case scenario for the Eagles would be if they were going to hire Bill Belichick as their head coach, it would be the reverse Andy Reid Spags relationship. They would need a defense, uh, an offensive coordinator who's really great top you know, top in the NFL, but willing to say, yeah, I'm not really trying to be a, a head coach. I'm just going to be, I just want to be a coordinator. So Bill, you get to be the head coach, whatever. I don't care. I'm not going anywhere, right? Just like Spags. Spags is not going anywhere. And that's what's making their marriage, Andy Reid and Spags together, is is such a, a dynamic duo together, right? It's just that they never have any of that turnover. So if, the, if Bill Belichick and the Eagles were able to do that in some capacity, then that really could set them up for the next three, four, five, six years. The problem is if they get another great coordinator, um, even if Kellen Moore, they stick with Kellen Moore and Kellen Moore continues and, and, and has that defense, that offense rolling, like he will get a head coaching job, right? And, and that's what uh, the Washington Commanders are praying that, the, that, you know, because people are talking about, you know, whether or not Cliff Kingsbury wants to be a head coach again. And they're kind of praying like, oh, he could just stay there. You know, he doesn't want to be a head coach anymore. And it's like, no, I think he's going to want to be a head coach. So that's always the problem is that these coaches always, the, these these coordinators for the most part, want to get back out there and be head coaches. Unless you're a little bit older, like a Spags, for instance, or something, who's kind of like, ah, I'm not I'm not doing the whole head coaching job thing. I got, I got things great in KC. I'm getting paid. We're winning rings. I'm good. I'm not moving. I don't want to move to a different state and do this whole new thing. Like, I, I'm good. And I get that. And I respect that wholeheartedly. So it's, yeah, it's fascinating. Um, and in terms of, like, should they fire and, and make moves right now, um, I, unfortunately, I think what will happen is, is that I think the Eagles are going to get significantly more healthy. I think they're going to look significantly better. Um, I've been I've been banging that drum now for for the last couple of weeks. And then everyone's going to be like, see, everything's all going. And, and, and they're going to say is, the, the, the 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 titles of these videos will be like, you know, is Nick Sirianni off the hot seat now? And, and, it, and it's going to be it's going to be a little bit more fool's gold. I think the Eagles are still will still be legit, but I think the coaching will continue to be fool's gold. And that's kind of the concern uh, if you're a Philadelphia Eagles fan. Um, I, I think when Nick Wright pointed out the whole Doc Rivers thing, that, that's the bad example um, because Doc Rivers isn't a GOAT coach or isn't even really at this point really seen as, I, he's not a bad coach, but he's had more failures than success. That's you know not arguable. Um, that is not Bill Belichick's 
background. And like I said, it, the better example of that is when they fired the Cleveland Cavaliers fired. Um, I can never remember his name, um, but their head coach and then, and then upgraded Teron Liu and that then they ended up winning the championship against the Golden State Warriors. That is the better uh, example. And I do think that that could happen with the Eagles. The problem is also with hiring Bill Belichick is and that pretty much voids your whole um, signing of Fangio, but it will make the defense instantly better. Bill Belichick would be able to work with Jalen Hurts, would improve his ability to read defenses and do all that, which Tom Brady has talked at length of how beneficial that was. Um, and uh, so it would make both sides of the ball better. Kellen Moore would, would still have the freedom to be able to run the offense as he sees fit. And I think it could, I, I think it could be the juice that really elevates the Eagles. And that is where I agree with Nick in the sense of like, yeah, if they hire Bill Belichick, like, yeah, the, the Cowboys and the Commanders fans um, and the Giants, I guess, would, would be like, ah, I wish that didn't happen, right? You know, they, they could talk to themselves and say, oh, Bill Belichick's not a good coach, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, it's nonsense. I love how everyone just automatically wants to erase just the decades of success or just put all all of it on Tom Brady. And that's just, that's not how these things work. But those are just my thoughts. I'd absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys all think? Do you think Bill Belichick should return uh, as a head coach in general? And do you think the Eagles should hire him? And who do you think is a better quarterback? Um, Jalen Hurts or Trevor Lawrence? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I'd absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much, and see you next time.